Good morning. It's time for the Death and Will Show. Oh, that's what we call it. All right, here we go. No. We're going to click the button. Real talk. Real talk with Devin Will. Let me move this up a little bit. There you go. I like that. And the button is clicked. Two, one. Why? We're live. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Yes, it's Sunday afternoon. Starting my meal prep. I have some eggs back there. Going to make some egg salad. And here is my stir fry with turkey sausage, peppers, and onions. Got a pot of lima beans with smoked turkey. And getting ready to make some rice in my rice cooker. Be right back. Hello again. Well, I decided to try a keto friendly uh, cookie recipe this week. I'm going to make some peanut butter cookies, and from the recipe, it, it calls for natural peanut butter and then some vanilla extract, some stevia or some kind of a sugar-free sweetener, and then one egg. I'm, kind of, I'm heating my egg up to make it room temperature because it's supposed to be better at room temperature. But, um... Yeah, I need to find a way to not eat sweets at all. So, I'm trying out these cookies. Um, I normally have a, a low-carb, like a fudge bar, no sugar fudge bar or something like that, um, when I have a sweet tooth. But, you know, you want a variety. So, I saw this recipe, and I'm going to try it out. I will show you the results when I'm done. Meanwhile, back on the stove, here we have, I made a stir fry, and um, this one is mainly for me. The, this I make for the guys. I, they're semi-carb free. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious about it. Um, so I made this for me, and I'm making some cauliflower rice. So I will come back and show you when we're done. I made a salad, of course, and chopped up some strawberries, blueberries, and um, stuff like that for veggie, for uh, snacking. And then I also have my lima beans soup. So be back shortly. Good evening, guys. It's not, I got started earlier th this week. So it's not, it's about 5.45. As you can see, I got my blueberries, strawberries, a big salad, some egg salad, some sausage, turkey sausage stir fry with rice, and then I have some steak stir fry with a uh, cauliflower rice in some of my meals to this time. Um, let's move on over to here I haven't put these this in bowls or anything yet but that's my um, lima bean soup and guess what my keto cookies are out I haven't tasted them yet but they smell so good it came out so nice and again it was a cup of natural peanut butter um, three-fourths cup of Truvia or Stevia sweetener um, one egg room temperature and some vanilla extract and you mix them all up into little balls put them on the cookie sheet of course you put parchment paper and or wax paper whatever you use and, and um, then you put the little fork marks on them and they are yummy so I'm excited about trying those 
but it smells so good in here. And I'm uh, happy that I can make these for my family and not jeopardize their sugar levels. So, I'm not showing my face right now because, yeah, you know. <laughs> but it's a good Sunday evening. And I encourage you to try these keto cookies. Have a great one. Well, last week, as you guys may have noticed, I didn't post any walking pictures. I was kind of down. And really, I should have made myself walk because walking makes you feel better. Any exercise makes you feel better. So, I push myself and push myself. This morning, I got out 10 minutes later, but I'm out. And oh boy, am I glad. If you're trying to start, just start small. Do little things. And don't make it all about weight loss. That was something hard for me to learn. And it's taken me 50 years to realize that it's not about weight. It's about feeling good, taking care of your body, loving your weight and body any size you're in. Because if you love it, you'll take care of it. This is a gift from God. And you're here for a reason. So you got to take care of the vessel he gave you to be here in. Don't be like Debbie and let it be 30 some years before you realize that. Okay, I'll be back. Good morning. It's time for the Deb and Will show. Oh, that's not what we call it. All right, here we go. No. We're going to click the button. Real talk. We'll talk with Deb and Will. Let me move this up a little bit. There you go. I like that. And the button is clicked. Two, one. Why? We're live. Good morning. Hello, good people. We just finished Real Talk with Deb and Will. Oh, my goodness. That's the name of the program. Yes, that's the actual name. I said Deb and Will show earlier and he kind of um scolded me no, I didn't. but uh we just want to use the right name for stuff real talk with Devin will there you go. check us out um we will be posting this later today this is monday february the 11th my husband is over there cleaning up the kitchen for me Can I make some coffee so he got up and we're going to have some coffee. And then I have to be to work later. But um, we enjoy this Monday morning time together. And then he has to go to work later on this yeah. afternoon. So Mondays. A fun day for us. Monday, Monday. Well. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Good day, folks. It's a Debbie lunch break day. I pondered on what I wanted to talk about today because life is life is pretty good right now. I have a a, a new career that I, I'm really enjoying. Um, I would like to possibly do a little more mentoring to young people in, in this, but um, 
I struggled last week because I, I, I don't want people to think that people do these vlogs because they life is good and I got to encourage people and I got to do this. I'm not, I'm not bragging and saying that I know how to do it all right. As you can see, things are not always right. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm an obese lady that has struggled with weight nearly all my life except for when I was young and I, I think that I want to do I do the vlogging in order to encourage people but I do it also to encourage myself it's it's always been a struggle for me to stay encouraged and I think that's why I have the weight issue is because there are times when food can be a comforter to you and it shouldn't be. Food should be something that you should use as a tool for living and you and you should eat when you're hungry and stop. And I don't care what you know people's some people say, no, I eat because I'm hungry. I eat because I want it. You know, it, it's an issue. If you're overweight, there's an issue there. You're eating for to comfort in some kind of way, something that's missing. And I always thought it was a, ma a matter of exercise and calories and all this stuff like this, but there's so much more into it than the eyes meet. It's spiritual. And, and psychological and emotional and all these things that are so involved in the fact of why we do the things we do. And I'm coming into myself, I guess my relationship with Christ is stronger now as I spend more time with him and have time to spend with him he opens the, my mind and my heart and spirit to show me exactly why I do the things I do and what's going on within me. So doing these vlogs is a way of journaling and, you know, because of course I'm not opening up everything and all my secrets to you all, so I journal in my writing journal and I also journal this to have a history and and I think it's so neat that we can keep these things and have something to look back on and you know the good and the bad and all of the things that we do and it can also help other people I just ask that you you keep me in your prayers as I I'm starting to open up and minister to other people and try to help people out. Um, kind of, you know, coaching people through life. And I think that's my purpose. And I encourage you to find your purpose so that you feel satisfied. I know a lot of us, we choose careers because you think it's going to be more money. But sometimes it's not about the money. Sometimes it's about doing what God has put you here for. It, it's always about that. It's finding your purpose so that it doesn't feel like a career, that it feels like you're doing what you're created to do. Just something to think about. That's all I have for today. Talk to you later. Love you.